Come here. Come here. Come here. It's early. Why not? What if I told you I had a money-making opportunity for you where all you had to do was roll out of bed, check one site, and crush prize picks? That's what we do, and that's what we're going to do again. MLB is here, standing alone on the diamond, no NBA, no other stuff to get in our way. It's just a clear look at a prize picks card that's going to smash. Five-leg flex play incoming. Hit the thumbs up button, please, if you can. We appreciate that. Subscribe, please, if you can. By the way, we use the Odd Shopper premium tool because it works from a parlay standpoint, but also because it's just so damn easy. And we make sure that plays are matching up with where we're going. Anthony Volpe, of course, is number one. We're going over a half total bag for AB. Big one here as the New York Yankees hosting Joe Ryan and that stellar ERA just north of two. The whip is there. Joe Ryan just comes off a 10K outing. So this is not going to be easy, but you think, all right, where, where Volpe is and where he has been in this lineup, hitting like shit really for the most part, it's probably going to be an opportunity to pitch. I get a hit. It's probably going to be an opportunity to hit a pitch. That's probably a better way to say it. But look, you're going to get at bats. You're going to get K's. You might get a walk worked in there, but probably not. This is going to be a sweat. This is going to be a one for four type game. But Anthony Volpe now, I think, is an opportunity to just get some pitches because He's just really struggling to hit the baseball right now. Four hits over the course of, what, as many games as we've seen in nine, right, that we've seen in the month of April for him. Not good. Two of those, by the way, coming at the first day, April Fool's Day. Maybe that was the joke the whole time. But enough on that. We're, we're just we're going over. The market loves it. 54% chance we have of this winning. All right? Next one is Jason DeLay. And there will be no pause here. We're going to go over a half bag. Pirates catchers going up. And look, you do look at pitching matchups. That's it, especially where they are on the road. Jordan Montgomery is who he faces. It's probably going to get out of hand fast as Vince Velazquez is on the hill on the other side of it. We need, and look, delay has been walked a couple of times too. So pitchers recognize that circumstances at least could warrant him being a guy that you don't want to pitch to. He had that one explosion we saw against the White Sox to start that series, that mini series. It's all these mini two game sets that he's playing in, right? For him, not not for the team. I'm saying he's catching. Let me clarify that. You ordered it. No, no, no. I'm in for him. And he's getting some at bats. I mean, he's he's working three to four at bats, I'd say, consistently. You take the two in there with walks, so that's three, but that's still low for him. Against Montgomery, they're going to fly through this lineup. He's probably going to get three, I'd say three to four. Now it's about making some contact here. It's about recognizing that your team's most likely going to be down, making some contact a guy in Montgomery. It's, it's not the favorable matchup, but it's not a terrible one for him to just knock one. And look, the last two games aside where it was more about walking and not giving him much to hit. But no K's, too. So, so that's the good thing you look at, is that he doesn't go over 2 with 2 K's and a walk. He hasn't K'd in three games, so that's pretty good right now. And we'll do that with over a half bag. Next is going to be Nolan Gorman. Same game. Same game, man. Same game. Just over a half bag for him. Notice the trend. We're looking at hits. One hit. We're not worried about if that hits a single or a double on a one-and-a-half total basis play. We're just going over a half a bag again for Nolan Gorman, who has hit safely, mind you, in three straight. And by the way, he's going up against that same pitcher I just mentioned in Vince Velasquez. Not good. Not good at all. That's easy. 54% chance the market is telling us this play here on prize picks is beating, like every other one we've mentioned, is beating the market. Implied juice on prize picks, these plays are beating the market. More importantly, it's going to win. That's it. It's going to hit. We go to Kurt Casilli. Casali. The cuz. Cuz. 
Cosby. Uh-huh. Great scene from the office. Great, great scene. Kurt, I don't know if Kurt is rotational catcher. Kurt Caselli. Caselli, the Cos, Cosby. I don't know if he is a fan of the office, Michael Scott, but it's not a great start for limited opportunities for Kurt. However, however, when you look at the three games he's played, only one strikeout. Again, it's a one-to-one ratio. So I get it. Like, okay, he's only hit one time in nine at-bats over three games, but he's only K'd one time as well. And that's big for me when I'm targeting a guy who could snap, break, just take advantage of circumstance, whatever it might be. And I don't even want to call this a hitting slump, per se, because you have to hit first in order to go into one. But look, we've got a 53% shot of this winning. And I love Caselli, Cos, Cosby in this spot. Going over a half bag, really? Cincinnati's at home. Philadelphia has turned this thing around, maybe. But Bailey Falter, well, at least turned it around from Philadelphia now going to Cincinnati. Not their season. <laughs> But you got Bailey Falter. He's not going to K a lot of guys. I think there's an opportunity, absolutely an opportunity to squeeze this one in. Last place, Bo Bichette over one and a half bags. Nothing big, nothing crazy. This is a man who can hit at will for power. There's extra bases. There are home runs involved. You can go one for four like he did in that 9-3 slaughter of Detroit earlier in this series. And still that home run clear. There's 53% chance. What are we talking about here? That is is the play all right i'll run through this card here for you but i want to give you a week i'm using this tool we're using this tool successfully the least you can do is just give it a shot right like don't worry i'm going to match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars on prize picks we'll get you started and loaded up on prize picks you don't have to worry about that but why not coincide with a free week here of the odd shopper premium tool and there's a lot more it's not just prize picks Right now you feel like the Seinfeld clip where it's like, it does more than that. The tip calculator. <laughs> I'm telling you, our site does a ton, but you want it for prize picks. We got it here for you for prize picks. Okay. We, we know where we are. We know who you are. We, we want to give you what you want more than anything else. Volpe over a half bag delay over a half bag. Gorman over a half bag. Caselli Kaz, the cuz over a half bag. And Bo Bichette over one and a half bag. Hey, go slow, go fast, pause it, what have you. That's your five leg flex play. That's going to pay 10x on the diamond. It's a beautiful sight, and I love to see it. On your way out, come hang with us on the Discord. We're doing it all, folks, on the Discord, smashing away. Prize picks, we got that post and prize picks. Linquist is on there posting prize picks. We got a lot of fun stuff happening. Just want you to be a part of it.